There we go. Submit. Whoa, that's it. Done. It's now 11 days since I ordered a top custom built PC from Scan Computers UK on the 6th of January and I paid for it. £3,235. So on the 17th of January, what's the status of the build and when can I expect delivery? First, let's go over the specs of this monster PC to last me a good five years. Meshify 2 case, Asus X570 motherboard. Why that? Because you've got PCIe 4. That's an upgrade to PCIe 3, obviously. And then we come to the big monster, the big price monster. The 5950X 16 core monster CPU. Most people are going for the 5900X because obviously it's a lot cheaper, 260 pounds cheaper, but 16 core gives me the future proofing. You know, I might not need more than eight or nine cores right now, but I know I'm going to be wanting more than 12, you know, a few years from now. So 16 core gives me that future proofing. And then we come to the cooler. Yeah, if you're going to get a big monster, you need a lot of cooling, so I'm getting the best one. 360 millimeter rad triple fan Corsair Hydro 150i that's gonna enable me to overclock this like I say I'm not gonna overclock it much maybe 200 megahertz so I'm getting it for the long run but you can give it an extra bump of a say four or five percent free bump that's why I'm getting this Corsair cooler <coughs> Then we got 64 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, flexing muscles. Ugh. Current PC's got 32 gigabytes. A lot of people still get by with 16 if they just do gaming. But if you're buying a PC now, 32 gigabyte should be minimum for a high-end, you know, top good spec computer. Obviously, it depends on your budget. But 64 gigs will future-proof me at the moment. I can get by with 32 gig but I do need say, something like 48 gigabytes for optimum productivity right now so this gives me an extra boost extra future proofing you know I say now I won't need more than 64 gigabytes but five years down the road you never know that might become 64 will be what 32 gig is now anyway it should do me good for five years and the next big monster expenditure is the graphics card, uh, Asus RTX 3080 Tough, <coughs> not the overclock card because well they haven't got it. Look at that price, seven seven hundred fifty pounds. That's supposed to be seven hundred dollars. That's about five hundred pounds. So I'm paying a third more. But that will be more than adequate. I know it will be more than adequate because the main bottleneck will be the CPU, which is why I'm getting a 16 core. So the little chance of that happening that's why i'm not getting a 5900x usual bottlenecks for me are not the gpu it's the cpu right, the current one is a 4790k devil's canyon overclocked it's only four core eight thread but that's all you could get when i've got this two and a half thousand pound computer now my current computers from scan as well it cost two and a half thousand pounds six years ago and it's still working fine will make a great student computer that's what I'm gonna do with my existing one when I get this one when I get this one anyway that's the graphics card okay next we have what the power supply yeah 1000 watt you're gonna need it Corsair reliable name see the thing is you don't want to get a cheap power supply or low wattage you want to overcompensate I don't know exactly how many watts this system will take maybe under load 600 watts something like that in that region 600 to 650 watts so I'm getting well beyond that because the power supplies even good ones do degrade over time so if this goes down to 800 watts maybe it starts off around nine well I don't know thousand watts because it's brand new 
five years from now it could be reliably delivering only 850 or 800 but that should be still enough to power this system so you're not going to be putting the power supply under any strain that's what kills power supplies you put them under strain they don't last long people are there scratching their heads why is the computer unstable because your power supply is failing so always get a lot more power, uh, higher wattage power supply than you need a lot more I estimate I need 600 to 650 watt, but I'm not going to get 850, go straight to 1000 watt. Now I think that's it. Oh, yeah, the two NVMe drives, PCIe 4. That's the benefits of getting an X570 motherboard. Now, uh, they should be good, these Corsair 1 terabyte, two of them. 5,000 read, 4,250 write. I don't think they're going to actually perform as good as that. But I'll benchmark them. I mean, in real use, it's obviously going to be a massive difference between the sales pitch and reality through in real use. But anyway, the PCI for NVMe 2s, I would expect 3,000 at least on the read and 2,000 on the write. So roughly half. That's what I'm expecting in real use, not the benchmarks. I mean, real use difference, benchmarking, about half, slightly over half to maybe two thirds. But that would be better than a PCI 3. I think that's everything. Oh, yeah, then you've got the rip off price for Windows 10. What a rip. I can get this for 30 quid. So, why am I buying it after? I could have just not bought the operating system. But then how are they going to do all the burning tests? Yeah? I didn't ask them that. I should have, or really, I should have asked Scan. If I don't get an operating system, how are you going to do all the burning tests? Are you going to use a, you know, you, you're going to, they probably plug in a drive, isn't it? But then if, when, if I get it installed, the operating system, and it doesn't work properly, then what they're going to say, yeah? At least this way, I get a baseline of how the system performs when delivered you know is it is it unstable or stable so straight away you know whether they built it well or not another, another thing i should mention when you get a pc yeah how it performs in the first week is how it will perform in subsequent years so if during first week you put it under load test it and it passes then it should be okay for a good five years obviously you look at the temps and other things before you start changing anything and that'll give you a warning for instance under load say you're running Cinebench on a cycle if the temps go say over 80 for the CPU then um, you know they've not configured it properly because it shouldn't be the 5950X shouldn't run anyway we're getting ahead of ourselves it's not even been built yet and that's the current status of this PC I haven't even got around to building it yet. Although on a plus note, the price has gone up. Gives you good warm fuzzy feeling. I paid 3,235 and current build price is 3,250. Though I gotta add, scan computers have added at least 200 pounds to this price. Cause the cost of the components comes to around 3,050 pounds. So they've added roughly 200 or 215, something like that or five that's if you built it yourself which is fine you know that's fine get it built properly because I'd I used to build in the 90s and early 2000s and sell build and sell but it's just not worth my time and like I say I don't I'm not doing it for 20 years it's gonna take me I would imagine at least six hours that to me is a, a lot of time at least 40 pound an hour for work time so that's more than what i'm paying them to build it that's why i'm not too fussed that they've added 200 pound on that's fine because they will obviously do a better job than me in terms of cabling and test it and then if anything goes wrong yeah well if you break a pin on something so it's better unless you do it regular it's better to yeah pay them the 200 pound let them build it test it and then all you do when you receive it you test it the temps how it performs if there's anything obvious in the first week then you know 
this shouldn't be a problem because if they test it properly it'll come up now I'll be looking uh, main thing the test is for put it under load and check the temperatures put the GPU under load and check for artifacts you know that it passes benchmark you don't need to do a 24 hour burning test they're unnecessary just put it under some load for half an hour an hour and you'll know you know, cycling Cinebench will do it. So, what's the current status of the build? Well, you know, they've not got around to building it yet. I factored in it would take um, about a month, early February, and we're running around that time frame. It's obviously due to stock. Let's check the stock uh, Ryzen first, the processor. 59, what's the, oh, 5900X, 633 outstanding orders. Good news is I bought a 5950X, which means that's in stock. So the delay in building is not stock for the processor. What about the graphics card? 3000 series graphics card, 70 outstanding. Oh no, this is a 3070 minus 3080. 600 outstanding, 155 for Asus, tough gaming. 56 but none for OC though they don't give you an option here for OC but I don't need an OC you know you can still overclock if you needed to if I needed to I could still overclock this graphics card though that's not where the bottleneck will be from experience it'll be in the CPU but that's why we've got 16 core I don't know how much they're charging for the OC because they don't list the price but it'd probably be I'm guessing 800 pounds, maybe higher, but it's unnecessary, unnecessary waste of money. Well, this should be 500 pounds if it was what it was supposed to be. So that's the reason why they've not got around to building it yet. This, there's a waiting list of 56 for the tough gaming. That also implies because it's system build component, there's a going to be a lot of people having system build waiting on that uh, GPU probably same for these as well so that's the reason why my computer's not built hopefully it will still come early February but on day 11 since ordering there's no sign of it being built yet I'm guessing when I do an update say in 10 days time it will the build will be underway it would need to be underway when I do an update say around the 26th or 7th of 26th call it, of January it should be being built if it's not being built then it's not coming early February probably mid February so next 10 so 10 days from now I will know if I'm gonna get my piece because it'll take them at least seven to 10 days on their benches to build it and then obviously, obviously they're not going to take them 10 days to build they're going to build it in a couple of hours and then they're going to have to leave it for a burning test maybe 12 hours but they they won't build it all straight away they'll have a list you know they'll go they put six similar computers on the, the bench and go through them one by one adding components like that depending on what other components are in stock you know everything else is in stock is just the graphics card isn't anyway that's my update on the 17th of January current status is price has gone up 15 pounds still waiting on components it's the tough Asus tough graphics card hopefully it'll come within next 10 days and it'll, the build will and I'll have moved along the obviously there might still be a outstanding but I'll be 10 days further along the queue so it should be getting built and if I'm lucky I'll get it early February then I can switch it unbox it switch on first time and I can see the quality of build of scan computers in 2021 so do subscribe for that video